Okay, uh, part two of the codes, and I'll just briefly go over it again. Uh, it's my set of morals, set of values, what I live by. Number one, seek the truth always. Number two, no one can offend you but yourself. No one can insult you but you. Number three, we're responsible for all of our actions within the house rules. And number four, everything we do, we do for selfish reasons. So I've talked about what truth is and just kind of touched on it because there's so much more to talk about. And I've kind of given a quick overview of offend. Uh, so now I want to get to the other two. And to me, these are the important things we really need to talk about because they're the basis of everything else. They are the foundation that we build our lives on. Yeah, there's going to be cars going by and that's just the way it is. Talking in the outdoors does. Trains coming. So number three, we are responsible for all our actions within the house rules. First of all, let me explain the house rules. Really simple. Everything I have no control of, which is pretty much everything. And I'm going to dare say, except for what I think, because even there, I don't know if I have any control over that. Might all be illusion. This control seems to be an illusion. But I'm responsible for my actions, what I do, what I say, how I do it, how I react to other people, based on the fact that all my actions have to come from here. They can't come from anywhere else. Uh, no one can force me to do anything I have to make the choice. So let me give you an example that will kind of put this in perspective. I'm walking down a the street, there's an alleyway, and some guy comes out and shoots me. And you might say, well, huh, that's his fault. He's to blame. Is he? He is to blame for shooting me. That's what he needs to take responsibility for. What I need to take responsibility for is getting shot. I put myself in that place at that particular time, probably not consciously knowing that that would happen, but I made that decision to be there. No one else made it for me, just as he made the decision to be there and shoot me. Now there's no crime against getting shot, so we focus on the fact that he did the shooting and that becomes the blame. But I'm also responsible for my actions during this process as well. So expand that out and quit blaming everybody else for things that you do and take responsibility. They need to do the same thing, but you can't control that. Number four, and this seems to be one that people have a very hard time with, this one and offend. Well, I guess they have a hard time with all of them because you can't figure out what truth is. And uh, we like to blame everybody else so we don't be responsible for our own actions. And that breeds drama and lies and uh, secrets, which is all based on fear. It's just this cycle that needs to just stop. And if you kind of grasp what I'm saying, take hold of it and use it, that cycle will stop for you. Okay, so number four. Everything we do, we do for selfish reasons. And it kind of goes in with responsibility that every act, every thought I initiate, comes from me, thus myself. It doesn't come from somebody else. If they say something to me, I decide whether to act on it or not. I do it for my own personal gain. I take a step forward because I want to take a step forward. I connect with people because there's something in it for me. There always has to be something in it for you or you won't do it. The example I get that people try and refute this with is something along these lines. You're walking along a road, you see a child drowning in the water, and you run in and you save that child at risk of drowning yourself. It's a, near a dam and there's an undertow and you could both easily get killed. You know, according to society, that was a selfless act. No. I don't know the particular reasons why someone would do it. I would probably do it because I couldn't live with myself not knowing that I didn't make the effort to 
stop this child from drowning. Even if I died in the process, that's who I am. That's what I would want to do. I did it for my own selfish reasons. And the thing is, I'm okay with that. Most people look at being selfish as a bad thing. It's not. It just is. And you can become self-absorbed or narcissistic, which I get called quite often. And that might be off on the balance of that scale. Or you can become altruistic, humble, and do everything for everybody. You might be at the other end of the scale, but you're still doing everything for selfish reasons. So the point is this. We need to be okay with that. We need to be okay the fact that, with the fact that we are selfish creatures. We do what we do for ourselves. And not use it as an excuse. So I hope these guidelines helped you out in some way. Even if I just threw them out to stimulate discussion or to get you thinking. Because that's my goal here. My goal is to put things out to get people to step out of their boundaries, or if they want to reaffirm their beliefs even stronger, then go ahead. And get us thinking for a change in directions that we don't normally think. Because we're so caught up in all the garbage, the putting out the daily fires and the crap that goes on, that we forget the core reasons, the core values that we should base all we do on, all our foundation. Beyond that, get out and live your life. You've got someone to love, and I've said this before, love them. Base it on something like what I've said, and hope they love you back. If you don't have someone to love, find someone. And I'm gonna talk about love another time, but I will say this, real love takes a long time. The beginnings of it are great, but if two people aren't doing it together and working towards something together, it's not love. It's, it's just not going to work. Anyways, thanks so much for listening to what I have to say. Hope you enjoyed the babbling brook in the background. And uh, if you like anything I say on any of the videos, videos uh, please just hit the share button. It's not too hard. We just don't share enough in this world. Thanks for listening. Thanks for your time.